voting is underway in the Indian state of Gujarat for the first phase of the assembly elections. The elections are being held in 89 seats of Saurashtra and South Gujarat regions with 977 candidates in the running. A total of 9.77% per voter turnout has been reported in the first two hours of the first phase of voting in Gujarat. Now, after a campaign that often has turned vituperative, more than 20 million voters are exercising their franchise in Prime Minister Modi's home turf to choose between the ruling BJP and the Congress. Maximum candidates contesting on a seat are 27 from the Jamnagar rural constituency and the minimum number of candidates are from the Jhagadia and the Gandevi constituencies. The prominent candidates for today's battle include Chief Minister, the incumbent Vijay Rupani, who's contesting from Rajkot West. BJP State President Jitu Bhai Vaghani is contesting from Bhavnagar. And Congress's candidate Shakti Singh Gohil from Mandvi and Paresh Dhanani from Amreli. The second phase of the elections will be held on the 14th of December with 93 seats in Central and North Gujarat. The voting of vo counting of votes will take place on the 18th of December. Now, the election is being viewed as a prestige battle for Prime Minister Narendra Modi and a litmus test for the leadership of soon-to-be Congress President Rahul Gandhi. The campaign has shaped up as pretty much a duel between Prime Minister Modi and Rahul Gandhi and is often termed extremely personal. The poll narrative has been changing with issues such as the Ayodhya title suit, Rahul Gandhi's imminent elevation as Congress president and also his visits to temples being raised by BJP leaders where some of the BJP leaders have come out and said that Rahul Gandhi is not even a Hindu after the entry which was made in the visitor's book at the Somnath temple. And also the other big factor which is being looked at in these elections is that of Hardik Patel. Out of the 189 seats, 16 are being contested in the Patidar stronghold. So nearly 9% seats are being fought for wooing the Patidar community and it remains to be seen as to what sort of an impact the 23-year-old Patel leader has on these elections. He's of course been extremely vocal against the BJP and Narendra Modi stating that his only motive is to defeat the BJP in these elections. Lacks of people congregated to his rallies. It now remains to be seen whether they will also vote on the basis of his directive. Now, this is a crucial prestige election where the BJP is going and stating that they will win no less than 150 of the 182 seats in the Gujarat Assembly. Let's also listen in to some reactions from voters across Gujarat who voted today for the first phase of the Gujarat polls. I have a lot of votes and it's good. It's very good. It's good in the machine. It's not a problem. It's very big. I will ask all of you, all the people to come and vote. फिर ऐसा ना लगे कि हमने वोट देते थोड़े क्योंकि इस बार कांटेस्ट ऐसे लग रहा है कि बहुत ही कंपटीटिव होने वाला है तो ऐसे उन लोगों को एक्सरसाइज करना चाहिए अपना वोट फिर ऐसा महसूस ना हो कि अगर हम वोट करते तो शायद थोड़े ही वोटों के लिए रह गया बहुत खुशी है ये एक तरह से उत्साह होता है और एक भारतीय नागरिक होने के नाते हमारा फर्ज है तो इसलिए हम सुबह सुबह आके वोटिंग कर लेते हैं what the BJP has done uh, since uh, so many years uh, in Gujarat is what we see as uh, the youth as well as the general public is that uh, the issues like right from electricity, right from water supply, the Namada project that has been uh, uh, introduced by the BJP as well as the women's security. Uh, I don't see uh, uh, any loophole. I mean, uh, I'm not uh, I mean, favoring any kind of politics here, but uh, we have seen development as a normal uh, citizen of this state. There are a lot of opportunities for the youngsters and some experienced persons who have been able to get the same amount of money. People come from outside the state and come from the same amount of money. People come from the UP, MP, and some people come from the state and come from the same amount of money in Gujarat. So I think that there is a lot of opportunities for the same amount of money.